Convection is a method of heat transfer in fluids. So it could be in gases like the air, or it could be in liquids like the water here. And in this experiment, we're gonna have a look at some convection currents. So the setup is just a heat proof mat down here. I've got a tripod, a gauze on top, and then I've got a beaker that's full of cold water. I also have my Bunsen burner in order to heat it up. And we also have this chemical here called potassium manganate 7, sometimes also known as potassium permanganate. And all this is doing is it's acting as a dye so we can see where the water is actually moving inside this beaker. Now there are some hazards associated with this, so I'm going to make sure that I don't touch it. So I'm just going to use some tweezers to get these small crystals out. And I'm also going to be wearing safety glasses throughout. The other thing I'm going to make sure is that I'm not sat down at the desk, because if we were to have some hot water in this beaker and it fell over, if I was sat down, I couldn't necessarily move out of the way. So I'm gonna be stood to one side as we're heating this up. Now, in order to get this potassium manganate to the bottom of that container, I'm just going to use a straw. So if I just put that in there very carefully, I'm just gonna get a couple of crystals of this and put it down to the bottom. You don't want to be putting loads in, otherwise all you do then is you end up boiling purple water, and that doesn't really show anything. So in a way, less is more. So I'm just gonna add a few crystals. Now I've just put literally one small crystal at the bottom, hardly anything at all. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to light the Bunsen burner and just very gently heat on this side of the beaker. And we can now see how the water is rising up above that crystal. And then when it gets to the top, we get this current where it maybe starts to move down the other side as well. What we now have inside the beaker is a convection current.